Okay, here. Here's our uh, HP laptop. And uh, we will all try to start it up. And there's no screen coming up. There's lights there on the Wi-Fi. There's a LED blinking on the shift. You can hear the fan started up. But uh, after repeated attempts, it has failed to start. It has a black screen of death. So I'm going to show you how to fix this today. HP laptop. This is the G. G62 series. That seems to be a fairly common problem. Okay. The first thing I went to the website and uh, they recommended a few steps to troubleshoot is we can get a second monitor and uh, try to plug that into the laptop here. I'll turn it on and uh, we'll plug it in the side of the laptop and try turning her off. restarting her and what this will tell you is whether the screen has some kind of problem on the laptop but watching them both as it boots up we're not seeing any activity on either of them so this does not seem to uh, give us a clue yet okay okay so the next thing we can try is do a hard, hard reset so the way we're going to do that is we're going to we're going to shut it down Okay, we'll take the laptop and flip it over. And this is where the battery is back here. This is the battery release. So we'll pop out the battery so that it can't rely on the battery to keep its charge. And we will unplug the thing as well. And then we will try to restart it. And this will make sure all the charge is depleted out of it. And we'll hold this down for like 15, 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. So now we're satisfied that there's no charge in there. We'll take the cable and plug it back in and try to restart it again without the battery in there again no activity same blinking lights okay so the next thing we can try is uh, reseating the, the RAM because sometimes that can get jarred out of place and cause this type of problem. Okay, so we will unplug the power. And flip it over. And then we'll start taking off the back panels. Okay, here we have a uh, Phillips Phillips head screwdriver, jeweler's type screwdriver, 
and we have to go down and remove these screws on this panel right here. Make, make sure you don't, if they come out, make sure you don't lose them. I think these are kind of captured. So there's three of these screws. Okay. And we'll pull off this panel. And in here is, uh, well this is, this is the Wi-Fi card right there. And here's your, your memory, memory chips. So we'll try. You gotta loosen these up, push up on the, the rocker arms. And when you do that, the memory card will pop up. And there's two SIMs in this computer, so we'll take them both out. And then we'll try reseating them. Stick them back in. Get it, get the uh, pins right there above those tabs. You can push it back down. It'll pop in the place, and then uh, get the second one back in. Pop him back in the place, and we'll just leave the panel off for a little bit, and we will try it again. Battery's still out power cord back in and press the power again no activity on the screen okay so one of the last things that they are recommending that you try on the internet is that uh, there's some kind of issue with these computers where uh, when you have the battery in the computer it won't charge the BIOS uh, uh, battery inside and uh, that, that battery will, will leak down over time and uh, it will require uh, it, it won't charge itself unless you take out the main battery and basically uh, one of the solutions was is you turn the power on and just leave it in this state for about an hour so that it can charge up the internal battery and then try to restart it and hopefully that will fix the problem okay so we'll try that one next okay the laptop has been charging for about an hour so let's give this a shot we'll uh, turn it off hold that button down until it goes off Okay, now we'll turn her back on. Oh, look, success. Okay. It's asking if we want to uh, start Windows normally. So let's, let's hit return. And, uh, Starting Windows. So it looks like that fixed the problem. I think I'm going to uh, let it start up and then just let it charge a little bit longer to make sure that it doesn't go out again. So it appears that uh, people on the internet were correct that it was the uh, the uh, the battery for the BIOS and it doesn't uh, get charged up properly when the battery's inside. So we have the battery removed let the computer charge up for a while and now it's booting properly Okay. and we got good old Windows 7 up and running anyway thanks for watching